Hey guys, I finally figured out how to achieve this look without doing any crochet braiding, without adding any extra hair, finger comber, none of that. I can't believe that I'm just now coming to this kind of lock inspired. I love the idea of not having that, um, having to worry about frizz or shrinkage because it's already there. In fact, it might shrink a little bit more, which will, I think, add to the look um, if it gets puffier that would be great uh, just stay tuned okay so this is as much as I've gotten done so far and what I did is I just washed my hair and I let it dry I used the microfiber towel to get most of the moisture out and I was gonna let it dry all the way before I went in to do the twist but I didn't feel like waiting, so it was maybe about 60 to 70% dry before I started twisting. I'm just using a butter. And I'm just rubbing a little bit, any kind of butter. I was gonna do shea butter, but then I was like, eh. This is a shea butter mix by Callie's Creations that I had left. And yes, I am gonna run my styling tool down the length of the hair just to make sure that it's all straight or whatever and then I simply just take the hair I twist very tightly at the base some people decide to braid but I just prefer to twist it because it's just easier I do it about three times and then I start loosely twisting down the length of the hair And as I get to about right here, I tighten up on the twist. And then I see how much I have left. I never twist all the way to the ends. And I'm using the Argan Oil Eagle Style. I actually like the Argan Oil Eagle Style. I can feel the little oil in it. Um, and really, I chose this over the others because it doesn't make the hair too tight at the ends. And I just keep... Okay, and I'm going to do one more for you. I'm going to finish my hair up and then I will be back. But I just tied my hair up last night in this old silk, piece of old silk skirt. Now let me see how it looks. Ooh, flat. Look like I like it. super flat <laughs> I'll probably spritz a little water right here to puff them back up but I'm not gonna worry about it right now I'm give it time to see and I'm just gonna sort of lay the edges a little bit Okay, so I went to sleep with my hair up in a ponytail last night. Had this puff cuff. So I put the puff cuff in just to see how my hair would do up in a ponytail. Let's see here. Not too bad. Um, I don't know if that frizz is from, if you can see it. I don't know if that frizz is from the puff cuff or just from where. This is day, let me see, I did my hair. What day? This is the third day, I think. Yeah, third day. So usually what I do when I take my hair down is I put a little bit of water on it, I spritz water, 
Then I do my leave in. Um, I am not home and I did not bring water spritz. So this time what I'll do is just put a little water in my hands and scrunch through. Put a little bit of conditioner. Let me try to do that without getting everything all wet. Okay, so I let it set for a little while. Just tied my hair up and just went about my business, doing whatever. And now that a little time has passed, I'm just gonna take this off. And it should have set a little bit. <clears throat> And I think I'm pretty much ready to go. I might, you know, zhuzh it up a little bit, but that's it. Till the next video, live simply and be kind.